G'day, I'm Kevin. In 2019, I took a year off work. I shut down the computer and locked up the office. And I spent that time living in Chiang Mai and traveling in Southeast Asia to learn, to reflect, relax, but most of all to test whether I could live here full time. And the answer is yes. But when I returned to Australia, at the end of March 2020, the world turned upside down and I was locked into Australia for two years. But I'm back now. I'm living here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and there's so much to see and do. This is my journey. This is 52 weeks. Well, here we are, episode 26. So for those of you who are kind of doing the math really quickly, yes, it's the halfway point of my visa here in Thailand. So I thought I'd just have a bit of a chat. Not sure how long this will be. If I get too boring, you can go and watch something else, I won't mind. Um, yeah, but just a bit of a chat reflecting on the six months. So I've just done my second 90 day report, which uh, indicates that by far, I've been in Thailand the longest I've ever been here in a continuous period. So uh, when I came here in 2019, I first came here on a tourist visa, which meant that uh, every kind of 60 to 90 days, had to leave the country and come back on another entry. Um, and then I got a uh, retirement visa in country. Um, but I never actually did a 90 day report because I went out of the country to go home to Australia for Christmas and then I came back and then my year was up and I went back to work. So yeah, this is the, the longest continuous period of time I've been in Thailand. Um, and I must say, I'm enjoying it <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying the relaxed atmosphere. Um, I'm just, re you know, enjoying kind of being in command of my own destiny. Most of the time I have spent here in Chiang Mai. Um, haven't been traveling around too much. I've, uh, I did the trip to Ban uh, for a few days and I've got another trip coming up shortly which I'll leave to tell you about later um, but yeah so I'm just uh, I've just eased into life in Chiang Mai been doing lots of walking as you may have seen um, I've experienced the wettest wet season I've experienced in Thailand not that I've experienced too many wet seasons because most of my travels here since uh, 1999, which is when I came here first, have been outside of the wet season. Um, but I was certainly here for the wet season in uh, 2019, uh, and I don't recall it being this long or this wet. <laughs> Maybe I was just excited by the new adventure. <laughs> uh. Uh, but I think the wet season is finally drawing to a close. But what it's meant is that I have um, not been able to get out and do as much walking as I would uh, normally do, because it's been hard to plan around rainstorms. Um, but yeah, I've got out a bit. Um, yeah. So uh, with the rain easing up, I, I say that today, <laughs> <laughs> I decided to come to this park to do this video. I haven't been here before and decided to come here. So uh, it looked okay, packed the gear in my bag. On the way here, just as I got here, um, <laughs> it started to spit a little bit. And I thought, oh, I know, I'll go and have some lunch. <laughs> so I went off and had lunch um, and it did rain. And then after the rain, I've come back to do this video. Um, 
But in relating that story to you, I can't remember where I was. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'll just pick it up from here, I guess. Um, yeah, I wish I could remember what I was talking about. <laughs> See how relaxed I am? Uh, yeah, so with the rain, um, the rain starting to ease up a bit, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> um, I've been able to get out a little bit more. It's still raining a little bit, but... Uh, um, yeah, not as much as it has been. So hopefully we're moving into the next season, which in Chiang Mai I think will be the cool season. Um, so <laughs> that means it will be you know, mid to high 20s rather than high 20s to mid 30s. So <laughs> my friends always used to say to me when I came to Thailand, oh, bring a jumper, it can get very cold in the mountains. <laughs> and I fell for that for a number of years. Uh, yeah, so everything's going all right. Uh, I've been managing to stick to my budget. So I've done a few videos which detail the costs of me getting here and my kind of monthly expenses for the first few months uh, but essentially I'm planning uh, to live off about uh, 25,000 baht a month so that pays my rent and my phone and my electricity and my water that's about a little bit under a half maybe 40 percent of that um, and then the rest I just kind of divvy up between the days and, um, uh, you know, spend. <laughs> if I've got a little bit left over, I put it in a pile. And then if I overspend one day, there's a little bit there to cover it. So, uh, yeah, so I've done a couple of videos on that. Um, I do have a separate uh, stash of money, like if I want to travel, the trip I did to Ban Baton, kind of paid out of different... Uh, stash of money so the the uh, 25,000 baht a month is just kind of being here and eating and all that sort of stuff so I have you know an entertainment like I go out and have a drink at the bar you know once a week twice a week uh, yeah so financially it's going all right um, I haven't been keeping an eye too closely on my superannuation because uh, <laughs> you all know what's been happening with the financial markets. <laughs> so <laughs> I've just been trying not to kind of worry about that too much. Um, I should be all right. I mean, theoretically, um, I was doing all right when I got here. I was, you know, the money was, was kind of accumulating nicely. And then uh, some things hit, so it started to go backwards a bit. But uh, last time I looked, I was about uh, where I was when I started, so that's good. So my, my budget is working out okay. Um, yeah, and I've been kind of getting out, doing a bit of walking. I must say I enjoy, I enjoy life in Thailand. I enjoy something new. Uh, although it's hardly new for me now because I've been coming here since... <laughs> 1919 so I can hardly claim it's new now but there's always something new uh, that you find like for example this park I actually didn't know it was here um, at all and I've been kind of walking around this area for uh, oh maybe four or five years and I had no idea this park was here down a little side street um, until I was just kind of looking for something else on the map and I saw it <laughs> listed on the map so I decided to come and have a walk it's quite a nice little park I think it's uh, a place where people would come and exercise in the evening there's all sorts of um, exercise stations you know as you, there's a track that goes around it and you can wander around and you can you know ride your bicycle or row your boat or you know figuratively speaking there's a rowing machine and a bicycle machine and a walking machine and kind of things that you do this and wiggle around so I suspect people in the local community come here um, of an evening, you know, maybe four or five o'clock in the day. If I had time to think, I could tell you what that is in Thai time, but I'm, I'm not going to make you wait while my brain goes. Um, yeah, so a nice little, nice little community park. Very quiet. Hear the birds chirping in the background. There's lots of schools around here, so. Um, 
I presume you get kids wandering through here as well. Yeah, but everything's going really well. I'm looking to get back to Australia for Christmas and I've got a few bits of personal business I need to take care of so I may be out of Thailand for a little while. And I'm actually looking forward to catching up with my family, although that's a few months away yet. Um, it's not like I'm hanging out and I have to go and go now. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to catching up with my family and uh, talking to them and lounging around, spending Christmas with them. Uh, and then I get my personal business done. I'm kind of hoping I'm not out of Thailand for more than um, a couple of months because uh, I'm actually just really enjoying being here. So. Apart from going back to see the family and say good day and uh, catch up with them, um, I'm not feeling any great pangs of uh, need to get back to Australia. Um, yeah, so I've started learning a bit of Thai. I mentioned in one of my other videos that I've uh, started doing some Thai language courses. I'm just finishing up my second month of those. So uh, I'm feeling a bit more confident about Thai, although um, <laughs> I'm sure when people use words that I don't know, because I know some of the kind of structures about how you ask for things and things like that, but um, if they then use a word um, that I don't know or a structure that I don't know, I'm sure they get the look on my face. <laughs> Most people then start speaking to me in English. <laughs> Uh, but it's good, I, you know, I can go shopping, I can order food. Uh, I managed to direct a tuk-tuk driver to somewhere where I wanted to go. Um, I managed to kind of work out the price with him, even though he didn't know exactly where I was going. So I could tell him the general area it was in, I could then direct him to there and tell him when to stop, and uh, it all worked pretty well. So, it's getting, getting along. So I've just done two months of the language course, and I'm starting the third month in uh, October uh, and then after that the next step after the three initial uh, speaking Thai courses is starting to read Thai so that will be interesting <laughs> and I will let you know how we go but uh, yeah so I don't know whether I'll just start that one you know the month before I go back to Australia and then have a break before I continue to learn to read or whether it's best to stop um, at the end of the third uh, subject and wait till I get back. So I'll have a chat with my teacher uh, about that towards the end of the next um, the next book. So, uh, and she's a very good teacher. She's a great teacher. So uh, I'm learning heaps. Yeah, so easing into Thailand. I don't know if you tell, I'm very relaxed. <laughs> I had somebody say to me the other day, um, we could learn a lot from you, you're always very happy. <laughs> and I said, well, I'm in Thailand and I don't have to work and I don't have to worry about money, so why wouldn't I be happy? <laughs> and happy I am. Yeah. So that's about it. That's a bit of a waffle for you. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you're still here, thank you for watching to the end. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed. So <laughs> thank you very much. Let me know if you made it this far. <laughs> Just write something in the comments column. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, enjoy myself in Thailand. Halfway through the visa, so I'll be looking to uh, renew the visa at the end of the year whether I do that from Australia because I'm there taking care of business or whether I do that here I think about I'll think about next month <laughs> I'm starting to sound like Scarlett O'Hara aren't I I'll think about that tomorrow <laughs> uh, it's just a matter of timing about um, when the visa runs out and where I am and where I have to have money so <laughs> I will have to think about it next month but yeah uh, so thank you for those of you who have been following my adventures in Thailand, thank you. It's nice to have you with me, have your company with me, um, especially because you don't talk back. I can just tell you anything I like and I don't have to listen to you, <laughs> unless of course you write comments in the comment section. 
<laughs> but yeah, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for your company on this journey. I hope you're uh, finding it interesting. Um, and uh, I think that's probably enough for now. So uh, I'll catch you next time.